My name is Daniel Suarez. I'm the producer for Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, being developed by Traveler's Tales. Uh, this is the sixth game in the Crash Bandicoot series. It's a return to sort of Crash's original genre. It's an action platform game. We've actually changed a lot of the dynamics from the original game to open up the world a bit more and give actually Crash a little bit more uh, freedom to move around. Uh, the basic gameplay mechanics are fairly similar. Crash has, still has his run, his jump, his spin, and all his signature moves. Um, we've really been able to push the power of the PS2 to add new uh, effects and new sort of visuals that we didn't have before. So this is one of Crash's new vehicles. This is one of the a glider. Crash has got seven new vehicles in the game. He's got a glider, a mech, an atlas sphere, a helipack, a snowmobile, and a submarine. His sister Coco is also in the game. Coco is a fully playable character. She also uses a special vehicle. She's got a mini scooter that she uses. The objective in this level is for Crash to shoot down these weather machines that are creating the tornadoes in the level. Um, the premise of the game is based on Crash against the elements. And what has happened is that Dr. Neo Cortex, Crash's sort of arch nemesis, has taken control of four elemental masks. And they are basically taking control of the elements of air, earth, water, and fire. So it's up to Crash to stop them before they destroy the planet Earth. In this level, for example, Crash is fighting the different bosses from the previous game. So you've got InGen, Tiny, um, Dingadile, all on these sort of little fighter planes chasing after Crash. So very easy gameplay mechanics. It's just shoot, navigate, avoid getting shot down. You can rotate left, rotate right. And what's really important is to really kind of keep it fun but simple. Let me go to another level. So this is the Atlas Sphere. Uh, the Atlas Sphere is another vehicle that Crash has. Again, very simple mechanic. It's a sphere that Crash is able to use. A lot of physics is used to kind of move the character around. Basically, what you want to do is keep the character on the path. You don't want him to fall into any holes or hit any sort of uh, fire, any sort of obstacles. Uh, we're using some cool technology here to kind of do some refractive glass. We're really kind of trying to find some cool elements. The terrain is automatically deforming under Crash with the snow. It's really kind of using the power of the PS2 to do some cool sort of effects and dynamics. Uh, the gameplay is very simple again, but very fun. Um, oops, died in there right now. Let's try it over. I think one of the big sort of uh, design ideas we really want to do was offer up quite a few different game sort of dynamic gameplay kind of uh, elements for the player. So the different vehicles, the new playable character Coco will kind of give us a lot of diversification in all the levels. There's over 30 levels in the game, five bosses, some secret and hidden, hidden levels and sort of uh, things you can earn, uh, new moves for Crash, hidden characters, and there's also one new character for the franchise and his name is Crunch. Uh, and that's sort of Dr. Cortex's new creation.